I would like to ask you, uh, coming back to the national competitions, what are your expectations for this match with the Sturil tomorrow in Stadio de Luz? Thank you. Yeah, I think we already played two times against them. Um, and uh, Storil is a team, of, um, of course, they are fighting at the moment for staying in the league. But uh, nevertheless, in my opinion, is a team with a lot of uh, quality. Um, make, it all, make, them, make it always very difficult for the, for the opponent. A lot of players with speed, um, good decision making and also in the offense. So uh, they always challenge the opponents for an intensive game. So that is what I expect uh, tomorrow. Of course, we, we need the three points. Um, it's a tough schedule, so we already played a lot of matches now in a very short uh, time. But nevertheless, uh, the last impression from Thursday was good. So I think we showed um, good quality and also um, physical-wise a very good game. So that's our goal is now to, to finish the, this period before national team break um, in, a, in a positive way. And of course, we need a win tomorrow. Boa tarde, Mr. Schmidt, Ana Luísa Fernandes para a SIC. Uh, acabou de dizer que na terça-feira deram uma boa resposta, que fisicamente os jogadores estavam bem. Os próprios jogadores colocaram alguns, uh, algumas declarações nas redes sociais e falaram após o jogo a dizer que a equipa tem de reagir. Uh, Otamendi foi muito forte e passo a citar, disse que temos de sair de uma situação de merda em que lamentavelmente, lamentavelmente nos encontramos. Minha pergunta é, psicologicamente os jogadores parecem afetados? A si, parece-lhe que eles estão afetados emocionalmente, psicologicamente. O que é que eles lhe dizem? O que é que eles lhe transmitem a si? Yeah, you know, so, um, what happened? So, I think we uh, played against Sporting, first leg of uh, the cup competition. So, everything is still possible. We lost there. So, we, of course, we lost in, uh, in Porto in the league. And uh, in the first leg against Glasgow Rangers, we played a draw. So before, we almost won everything. So this is the situation. And for players um, and teams like us, who are used to win a lot of matches, then sometimes these moments in one week to have not, uh, not one win is a little bit unexpected. And we are not used to that. And it's normal that the players also think about this uh, situation and um, I think always for me as a coach is always important how you react on in these moments huh? so and that's what we also talked about um, after um, after the two games against Sporting and Porto that we have to sh have to show a reaction on the pitch so it's not to talk about it and to um, yeah, to to make um, any any special things at the end you have to be focused on um, on, on your performance in the next game. And you have to prepare yourself in the best way, analyze the opponent, analyze your own game, and then show uh, good football on the pitch. So that's, uh, in my opinion, um, the players did in a very good way. So because, like you say, it is not so easy. There's always some, some pressure at Benfica. But if you are able from the first second, like um, Thursday, to, to show quality with the ball and to sh play a good game, and of course at the end it is only a draw, and we, had, we still have to um, work on some details, and we have to improve details. We are conceding too many, too easy goals, so and we have missed too many chances. But overall, if you see the performance. Uh, of the players uh, regarding the, the tactical um, behavior, the, the mentality. I see they think that uh, they, are, they did uh, very well. And for me as a coach, it's always a very good sign that shows that the, that the team is in a, in a good shape, uh, that the team is connected, that the spirit in the team is, is very good. So, um, and then, of course, it's also easier to, um, to solve also mo moments or phases uh, during a season like that, because all the teams uh, all over the world and all the leagues, it uh, doesn't matter how good they are, they have some phases in the, in the season where um, the results are not there and then uh, you have to show attitude and, um, and quality and that's what we did and that's why I, I, I'm always in, in touch with the players so I know how they think and I know also how much they want to, to win prizes this season and they will give everything for that. Bom dia, Roger Schmidt, Beatriz Marques, em direto para a Sport TV+. Uma das coisas que o Roger muito tem dito uh, nas últimas conferências de imprensa é falado sobre a falta de eficácia do Benfica. Os avançados do Benfica não marcam há, há cinco jogos. O Roger também já disse que uh, um avançado do Benfica não tem só que uh, fazer o gols. O que lhe pergunto é se esta situação o preocupa e 
Porquê que o Roger altera tantas vezes o jogador que joga na posição mais avançada da equipa do Benfica? Sente que nenhum deles é capaz de dar à equipa aquilo que o Roger quer para esta posição, como por exemplo acontecia com o Gonçalo Ramos o ano passado, que jogou praticamente todos os jogos? Yeah, you already said it. So yes, last season we had a different situation. So we started uh, the season with Gonzalo as a uh, central striker, and he confirmed every week uh, that he is a good player on this position. He scored goals. He was very uh, complete in in the tactical behavior, and that's why he played almost the whole season as a central striker. So and this season we have a different situation. So I think we have very good uh, options, but. Um, the players up front were not so consistent in everything to to keep their position over over weeks or months or for the whole season. So this is this is the truth, and all of them working hard. And of course, they have to improve. So they have to develop. They are new at Benfica, and so sometimes players need some time to to um, to get used to everything and to play. Um, on, in, their, in their best way. The tactical approach is a little bit different than they are used to, and um, that's, this is the situation. And uh, I think we always have to try to find the best approach for each single match. Sometimes you can keep uh, starting 11 over weeks, always the same, and sometimes you have to adjust uh, because of uh, what, we, what, we, what I talked, uh, said uh, before. And this is our situation at the moment. Um, I think we, of course, we already scored a lot of goals uh, at, uh, on, on Thursday or in the last three matches. We were not that um, efficient, especially not on Thursday. Before, I think we were struggling with creating chances that we can sc score a lot of goals. I think we showed also, also when you look two weeks back, I think we, we scored five goals against Vizela in the first half time against, mm -hmm. yeah. And four goals against Portimonense in 15 minutes. So uh, the the potential, the quality is there. And at the end, um, it's not important who is scoring the goals. At the po uh, important is that you score goals and that you win games. And this is our situation. And all the strikers are welcome to to fight for their position and to play consistently as a number nine at Benfica. But at the moment, uh, we are not in this uh, in this situation. Bom dia, Roger Gonçalo Batista para a CMTV. Disse no último jogo que achou que a equipa tinha dado uma boa resposta frente ao Rangers, mas no final alguns adeptos pareceram não concordar e deixaram até algumas manifestações de, de descontentamento com o jogo da equipa. <coughs> Peço desculpa. Pergunto-lhe se sente que tem o apoio dos adeptos do seu lado e, e se sente que os adeptos apoiam a equipa e o que é que acha desta divisão, porque também há alguns adeptos que, que querem a continuidade do treinador e há uma grande divisão no mundo do Benfica, portanto sente que isto é prejudicial para a equipa. The last part I haven't understood. Of the it's not about me. So the only thing what counts is, is Benfica and what I saw in the stadium and I felt in the stadium on Thursday that they appreciated uh, how the how the team played um, and how they react um, and um, that was for us very important. So I think uh, it makes everything much easier if you get the support from especially in the own stadium. So actually we can always count on our on our fans and of course if they are not happy with our performance, of course then we have to uh, live also with the uh, with the critic criticism um, and that there are always criticism at Benfica. So I think. That's normal. So I think uh, we can only influence um, the, 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 the mood, the atmosphere by playing good football. So that's my complete focus and all the other things are, are not important. And in my opinion, uh, the, fan, the, the team showed a very good reaction and we were very happy that the, the fans supported us. Boa tarde, Roger Schmidt, João Miguel Nunes, RTP. O Benfica tem aqui um calendário muito, muito apertado, muito denso, um, e, e para si como treinador acredito que seja também difícil gerir a questão física e também a questão mental uh, com, com tantas competições. Uh, o que eu lhe queria perguntar é se na sua cabeça a prioridade é neste momento o campeonato. Obrigado. Uh, my pro pri priority is always the next match, so the upcoming match. So I think I already said that um, I cannot priorize um, competitions. So the, I think we cannot 
uh, choose um, the schedule. The schedule is like it is, and at the end, like I always say, it, we are happy that we have to play a lot of games because that means we are in a few competitions still, um, um, still on the way to to win something. And um, I think, especially the last weeks, um, I think I don't know how exactly how many, but I think we played around ten uh, matches in a row without. A uh, rest of more than three days, and then of course, at one point, uh, it is a lot of load for the players. We have to deal with it, um, and uh, at the end, I think, uh, except uh, the the phase with with Sporting Porto, I think they were we were a little bit struggling also with the with the physical um, shape. But on Thursday, I think we showed already that we can also with concentration with. Um, preparation. We can also try to to really be ready always for for each upcoming match, and that's our um, task for the this last week before national team break, and then also for the last I don't know uh, seven seven eight weeks uh, the rest of the season. So we are in the final third of the season, and we will give everything in each uh, single competition, and also tomorrow against Estoril. Boa tarde, Roger. Francisco falou para a TV e CNN Portugal. Uh, o Roger Schmidt, nas últimas três partidas, não apresentou uh, nenhum 11 inicial uh, igual. Portanto, uh, houve sempre alterações nos 11 jogadores que jogam de início. O Roger também, uh, em algumas conferências de imprensa e a seguir a alguns jogos, já disse que o Benfica pode fazer melhor ou que pode melhorar. E a pergunta seria, acha que neste momento um dos principais razões para não haver, uh, o Benfica não conseguir fazer melhor ou não melhorar, é o facto de estarmos em março e ainda não ter um 11 inicial base do início da temporada. Obrigado. That we change players uh, when we play every three days, I think that's uh, very very normal. And I think we have a good squad, so we have a lot a uh, lot of options. And um, of course, I try to keep all the players in a good uh, shape by um, giving them sometimes rest, but also by giving them. Um, match time, and um, I think, um, especially in these uh, phases, um, you have to take care that at one point, so also, also players who are used to play almost everything, they need some time, uh, also some some rest, to recover, but also to um, to prevent um, injuries. So you know, so if you, if the the players they play five, six matches in a row without any rest, uh, only three days between, so then of course the, the risk for injuries is also increasing. So all these things are part of the decisions which players are starting and um, at the end you always need a, an approach to, to win the games. So that is what we always do and um, I think we, did, we are doing very professional also the staff, uh, the medical department is doing very well and we always try to find uh, the best or all the information to, to make decisions regarding the lineup. The most important thing is, of course, to win. So that is always, uh, but of course, I think we are also able to change some players and to keep the level and, um, uh, and also to uh, have a high probability to, to win the games. And this is something we need to do until the end of the uh, season and especially when you have so many get matches like uh, right now. <laughs> 